In this video I'm going to recreate Geometry Dash in 4 different dimensions. First I created a new project in Unity and I can create project in one dimension. I opened Photoshop and drew a cube icon. This cube has go through all 4 dimensions. Also I added a background and black lines on top and bottom. My idea is that the player can see only one line. There may be blocks outside it, but if the player is higher or lower, he won't see them. Also I found it boring, so I added a logo. Time for coding. I decided to move the whole level and the cube will stand in one place. And sure, there were a lot of bugs. Next I did a jump. To make the jump as similar as possible to the one in the original game, I took the gravity settings from this video. Also I added a rotation. Now it looks twitchy, but I'll fix it soon. In Photoshop I drew a spike. And to make death look epic, I added some particles. Now there are blocks. I spent a lot of time to fix all the colliders bugs. I needed two colliders. One trigger for the death event, the other a surface for movement. I did it with an effector. I just created an enum to be able to add new game modes. To make a ship, I check if the jump button is pressed, if he has gravity is set to negative, if not positive. I took the numbers for gravity settings from the same video. I decided to just build a level in each dimension and not even make a menu. Next I added a trampoline and drew a portal to change the game mode. Some cutting and it works. There is also a portal for becoming a cube. And it is Geometry Dash in one dimension. By the way, in the description you can download and play everything that I will do today. So, two dimensions. Even more game modes and bugs. In the original Geometry Dash, the camera doesn't follow the player along the Y axis. It works, uh, I don't understand how it works, so my camera won't move along the Y axis at all. From the previous game, I copied the textures and some scripts. Of course, I had to read them a little to make it work in two dimensions. The first edition will be a small spike. Still the same code, I just changed the texture and a collider bit. Next is a yellow orb. It has its own trigger. When the player is in it, if you press the jump button, the jump script in the player will be executed. Also, I added some particles. Next, I added these spikes. Again, the script is the same, a different texture and a modified collider. Importing the ship game mod wasn't difficult, but we need a roof. I also made a new block texture to make the level looks a bit better. So, new game mode. Wave. I drew a wave icon, imported it in the game, wrote some code, and now it works. But now the hardest part. The wave trail. So my idea. This thing fits perfectly. And also if it just went up and now we go down, then this also will work. The hardest part was creating a script. I also needed to add a trail if the player pressed against the surface. And finally it works. So this is the level I got. Ok. Three dimensions. Here I run into a problem that my previous sprites wouldn't fit. So I need Blender. Here I modeled a cube model. Let's go back to Unity. I added the surface and it's time to model the ship model. I, as in the case with the previous game, copied some scripts. But I had to change them a lot so that they work in three dimensions. For example, this spike script. This method is called when two colliders touch, after which I die. But to make it works in three dimensions, I need to change this. Not works. By the way, I have already made a block. And now I'm creating new portals. I transfer the ship game mode script from two dimensions and it works pretty good. But of course there were problems. For example, to change the gravity scale, I used this. But it's in two dimensions. In 3D games, Unity uses a different physics engine, so there is no this parameter. I had to write the script to change the gravity scale in three dimensions. Now I'm going to add two new game modes. First is the ball. Here I ran into very big problems. I was faced with a choice, spend a lot of time and make a block that will work, or just pull the colliders myself. However, I fixed everything and now it works perfectly. And now it's time to create a fifth game mode, the UFO. I had to create something similar to glass. 
and I also built a part of the level. The last thing is the design. First I made the floor more like the one in the original. By the way, I noticed that my ship doesn't have particles as it was in the original game, so I added particles that are always there and particles that appear when you press the jump button. And the last thing I added was background. There was a problem here that the resolution of the texture I was using was very low, so I completely repeated this texture in Photoshop and even extended it so you can't see what I shouldn't. Finally I can make a new game logo and Geometry Dash in 3 dimensions is done. So for dimensions, but stop, how to do it if there is no such project setting in Unity? I have found the framework that will allow us to do this. Now I am going to explain how it works. If you imagine a 2D world and let a 3D object through it, then the people of the two-dimensional world will see how it appears, changes size and then disappears. If you rotate this object, the people will see this. If we take a 3-dimensional world and press a 4-dimensional object through it, then the people of the 3D world will see how it appears, change the size and disappears. Rotation will work by analogy. That is how this framework works. It adds a 4th W axis that you can rotate and move. While I figured out how to do this in Unity, it took several hours, but now I can create games in 4 dimensions. By the way, here I accidentally create a first person jump to dash. Before adding this framework to my game, I have one more thing to say. This thing is very lagging, so you can play only in low resolution. My computer has a huge input lag and frame rates below 60 FPS in full HD resolution. So I added this to my project. Oh my god. After fixing bugs, I still install it. First I replaced the cube icon with a hypercube, next I rotated it along the W axis and now it looks like this. After that I replaced each portal with hypercubes, by the way there is a very beautiful thing which I decided to add to the portals and now when I go through the portal it looks amazing. Since I can't make a 4D model of the ship, I decided to change the color of the player to differentiate the game mode. And now Geometry Dash in 4 dimensions is done. Now you can play Geometry Dash in any of the 4 dimensions using the link in the description. Goodbye! Before creating this video I tried to create Geometry Dash in 3D, but it looks like a snake game. When you jump over a spike, you get longer and the spike disappears. The best thing is that you can jump over itself as well as pass under the snake. But I abandoned this idea and didn't finish the game.